Welcome to FFA Jack Gaming, where today we're going to do a review over Ultra Pro's Alcove Flip. It's a boost, it's a box. It's a deck box that can end up storing. It holds up to a hundred double sleeve in Ultra Pro Pro Fit and Deck Master sleeves. It's dual notch for easy access to your cards, and it's a strong magnetic closure. It has at least that's what it says on the side. It has this little thing in the back. And just in case if you're curious, that's what it looks like at the bottom. I'm already going to review it. I'm not even going to crack her out of here quite yet. Because once I do, we got a special little home for a special little deck. And then we'll dash in with it. I know this is going to be a nice solid box itself because I have... That's the newest. That's my bears. Nice and protected. Nice and protected. The generation before that. Nice and protected, mono black. And my oldest one out of the bunch was when they had the guilds. It's a gruel, gruel action. So something that could be a little bit better about it, right off the get-go before we even open it or anything like that, is if you look at the front, yeah, there we go, little angle. You see the little Planeswalker logo, but these are the logos for each other different color and magic. Well, been a cool, nice touch is if they ended up having those be the actual colors of the deck or the colors of the elements. So like if the forest was green or if the plains was white and stuff like that, that would have been kind of cool. Or even have it with the little orange inlay that it has over there. Kind of like what they have on these sleeves right here. That would have been cool. So this is a Represents a five color deck or Uger or yeah, Uger because it has white, blue, black, red, and green. So we're going to take the deck that's out of this guy and make this the forever home for this deck, but the forever home, unless they come out with a different design. That would fit the deck a little bit better. But I'm going to slap our Ur Dragon into it. This is our Dragon Tribal. Has some good stuff. Like Time At. Oh, Gnawbone. Stuff like that that's in the deck. Because we're going to see and believe it's nicely safe. Because it has the main magnetics. Or magnets. Magnets here. There, I believe there and there. Holds it there, holds it there. And then what's also nice is that you can pull it out and be able to pick up the deck. So these are only single sleeves. That's why I was able to also have the tokens in here. See, poop. And slide it into its home. Zoop. And this obviously is a single card deck, so it's obvious I have different colors for each sleeve. The main deck is yellow, and then I also have a different color for the tokens as well. This is all the tokens that are needed for this deck. Now let's slide the commander in here for its forever home. And there we go. Brand new home for the Ur Dragon deck. All the dragons have a nice little home now to roost and be able to chill out. So the big thing is, is about these uh, deck boxes is that they have a strong magnetics, so they'll nicely protect your cards. Has a nice upside gear that keeps everything nice and neat in there. And it also gives you ease to be able to pull the deck out. I love how they ended up going with it. The only thing that would 
honestly would make a nice upgrade to it would be having a dice area, but I kind of like not having a dice area because everyone carries dice. But overall, the design on this box specifically, I would have loved to actually have the different elements be different colors. That would have been amazing. That would probably knock this out of the park. So I went over to my LGS and was able to pick this guy up for 30 bucks, which it's a thing that I'm quite happy with. Because the thing is, is that this is going to keep the deck nice and safe and keep it all together. And as you can see, it's going nowhere. Nicely protected. It's nice forever home. That's what I like to end up saying, at least with these decks and everything. Because like this one has my motto black. That's why I went with the little skull. The new one didn't look too good. It was purple and I wanted black for because it's black. I got the new version of the green, which has bears in it. This is my favorite deck. But longevity-wise, I've had them for a couple years, and they've held up pretty nicely. And mechanic or magnets haven't really gave out or anything like that. And it's a nice, solid deck box. And there's a box that I would strongly suggest actually picking up. I'm not sponsored by Ultra Pro by any means, but I just wanted to end up being able to get the lines on a nice product for you guys. And I happened to pick on it up and be able to knock it open and was able to put it in a forever home. Now, I got a spare deck, deck box. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to put another deck in there that at least has green and red in it. It'd be perfect if I had a grill deck that needed a home. All right. So with that said, did you guys pick up anything? Did you pick up anything new? Let us know down in the comments down below. Also, if you've picked up these alcove boxes, what do you think of them? Let us know in the comments down below as well. So, on the channel, we end up doing a little bit of deck techs, knocking over mainly Commander with that within that mind. But we also do cover armies, box openings, pack openings, a little bit of everything. You never know what's going to come down to the pipeline. To find out, make sure that you end up subscribing and hit that little bell to be able to be notified whenever any new content comes up. We're also doing more streams over on our Twitch, which our Twitch is the fifth of Jack, all spelled out. Well, I also end up using the content that we have from Twitch and backlogging it here on YouTube. So that we'll have some more stuff. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.